how are we going to translate this English phrase into this mathematical phrase? Find out in this video. Good day learners! Pag-uusapan natin ngayon, how are we going to translate English phrases to mathematical phrases? So before that, let us familiarize first the terms that are being used to symbolize the different fundamental operations that we have. So, under addition, we have the terms or the phrases addition plus the sum of more than increased by total added to. Under naman sa subtraction, we have subtraction, difference of, less, decreased, or decreased by, subtracted from, diminished by, minus, reduced, and less than. Pag dating naman sa multiplication, we have the words or the phrases multiplied, multiplied by, product of, twice, or thrice a number. And lastly, sa division, we have division, quotient, divided by, and the ratio of. So, pag-uusapan natin paano natin i-translate ang mga English phrases or English sentences into mathematical phrases and mathematical sentences. So, importante na malaman natin kung ano yung mga symbols na dapat nating gamitin. Okay, example. Now, let's translate the following English phrases into mathematical phrases. So, ito mga words or mga phrases na nakalagay dito, ito translate natin sila or, is, or isusulat natin sila using mathematical symbols. So, tatandaan natin yung mga keywords natin sa bawat fundamental operations na binanggit ko kanina. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So, example number one. The sum of a number x and 5. So, make sure na kung ano yung pagkakasulat, yun din yung arrangement natin sa ating mathematical symbol. Pero, meron din tayo mga exemption. Okay. So, in this case, nakalagay na keyword would be sum. Okay. So, pag sinabi nating sum, it follows na yung operation na gagamitin natin would be plus or the addition. So, the sum of a number x and 5. So, sum daw yun ng isang number represented by x at ng 5. So, in mathematical symbol, we have this one or we can write this one as x plus 5. Okay. So, yung a number na binanggit dito is just represented by x. So, kung ano yung variable na binanggit, yun din yung variable na gagamitin natin. Okay? Next, 6 added to the number y. Okay? So, yung operation na gagamitin natin is still addition kasi yung keyword natin is added to. Okay. Now, hindi gaya ng number 1 na kung ano yung pagkakasulat, yun din yung uh, pagkakasunod-sunod ng symbols na ilalagay natin sa answer. Kasi nga, yung phrase na ginamit is added to. So, if we're going to interpret it, yung 6, i-add natin sa number na y. Sa madaling salita, yung 6 ay isusulat natin after ng y. Okay? Hindi before ng y. y plus 6. Okay? Kasi nga yung keyword natin is added to. So, yung 6 nakalagay sa last part or sa bandang huli. Okay, next. The quotient of 5 and a number x. So, since quotient, then we're going to use division as our operation. So, hindi na tayo gumagamit ng uh, division na sign na ganito or ng, frac ng bar or yung forward slash na ganito. So, yung gagamitin na natin na symbol would be fraction bar. Okay. So, we have the quotient of 5 and a number x. So, yung 5 would be our dividend at yung divisor naman natin or yung denominator natin would be x. Okay. So, that would be 5 over x or the quotient of 5 and x. Okay. Next. Twice a number. Again, pag baka encounter tayo ng keyword that twice, that means uh, multiplication. So, twice a number. Pero, hindi nakalagay dito kung ano yung variable na gagamitin natin. Nilagay lang niya would be a number. So, pag hindi nakalagay or hindi nakaspecify kung 
ano yung variable na gagamitin natin. Then, we can use any variables. Uh, most commonly, gumagamit tayo ng variable A, B, C, X, Y, Z, at saka ng N. Okay. So, for me, gagamitin ko yung N. So, twice, ibig sabihin natin, ibig sabihin nito 2 times N. Okay. So, that would be 2 N. Okay. So, hindi na tayo gumagamit ng symbol ng x to signify uh, multiplication. Okay. Hindi na tayo gumagamit nito kasi nga malilito tayo sa x kasi ginagamit din ito kadalasan as a variable. Okay. Hindi din tayo gumagamit ng, hindi na tayo gumagamit ng decimal. Okay. Yung ginagamit na natin, pwede natin silang itabi, uh, magkatabi sila na isusulat or pwede din tayong gumamit ng parenthesis. Okay? Next, we have the ratio of M and N. So, yung keyword natin is ratio of. Okay? Pag sinabi natin ratio, that means division. So, we have M divided by N. Okay, let's continue. Uh, example number 6, we have a number X increased by 7. So, yung keyword natin would be increase. That means addition. So, uh, yung number daw na x uh, would be increased by 7. So, ibig sabihin nito yun yung x dadagdagan ng 7. So, in symbols, that would be x plus 7. Okay? Next, 2 less x. Pag paka-encounter tayo ng word or phrase na word na less, that means subtraction. Okay, so 2 less x, ibig sabihin yan, 2 minus x. Okay, next, the difference between 2 and x. So, same lang sa number 7, that would be 2 minus x. So, ibig sabihin ng difference would be uh, subtraction. Okay, number 9, 2 minus x. Okay, 2 minus x, same pa rin yung pagkakasulat. Okay, tatandaan natin yung mga terms na ginagamit natin para ma uh, sulat ng yung ganitong mga symbols. Okay? Now, how about number 10? 2 less than a number x. Okay? Less than a number x. Okay? So, pag ma-encounter tayo ng phrase na ganito, yung 2, di gaya ng previous na examples natin, yung 2, hindi natin isulat sa una. Okay? Ilalagay natin siya dun sa bandang huli. Ibig sabihin siya yung magiging subtrahend natin. Okay? So, instead of writing 2, uunahin natin yung uh, x. So, that would be x minus 2. So, ito yung pagkakaiba ng phrase na less than a number sa tatlong uh, previous na mga examples natin. So, hindi siya 2 minus x, that would be x minus 2. Okay, let's continue. Uh, example number 7, we have twice the sum of x and y. So, dito, dalawang operation na yung gagamitin natin. Una, uh, yung word that twice is signifies multiplication. Then, we have also sum that means addition. So, ibig sabihin, na, ibig sabihin nito, we're going to add first x and y. At kung ano man yung magiging sum nila, multiply natin ng 2. So, how are we going to write this one in symbols? So, ilalagay natin yung sum ng x and y sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? So, para masimbolize your, or masulat into symbols yung sum ng x and y, that would be equal to x plus y. Okay? Ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? Kailangan natin siyang ilagay sa loob ng parenthesis kasi nga, uh, kung ano man yung magiging sum nito, imumultiply pa natin siya ng 2 for the word twice. So, yung final answer natin would be this one. Okay? Next, 5 more than the product of A and B. Okay, so again, uh, dalawa din yung operation na gagamitin natin dito. Yung more than na word or na phrase uh, signifies addition. Yung product naman signifies multiplication. Okay, so yung 5 more than, gaya ng uh, example natin kanina na 2 less than, yung 5, hindi natin ilalagay sa unahan, ilalagay natin sa last. Okay? So, uunahin mo natin isulat yung product ng A and B. So, the product of A and B would be written as A, B. Okay? Pwede na silang i-tabi uh, na lang. Ibig sabihin na magkatabi na variable, uh, 
yung operation nila would be multiplication. Okay. Yung product ng A and B, dadagdagan daw ng 5. So, that would be AB plus 5. Okay? So, mali kung ang pagkakasulat natin would be 5 plus AB. Okay? It should be AB plus 5. Kung kanina, we translated English phrases into mathematical phrases. This time, we're going to uh, translate English sentences into mathematical sentences. So, pag mathematical sentences nang yung involved, then we are going to add another set of uh, symbols. So, gagamitin natin dito yung equal sign, not equal sign, less than, uh, greater than, less than or equal to, at saka greater than or equal to na mga symbols. Okay. Let's have example number 13. The difference between 7 and P is 3. So, kung mapapansin natin, yung given natin is already an English sentence. So, we're going to change this one or translate this one into mathematical sentence. Okay? Ano ba yung keyword natin sa uh, equal sign na symbol? So, it could be is, are, or is equal to. Okay? So, sa number 13, we have the difference of 7 and P. So, dito muna tayo. The difference of between 7 and P. So, since difference, it means uh, subtraction. So, that would be 7 minus P. Okay, next. Is. Yung is, pag i-convert natin siya or translate natin into mathematical symbol, that would be equivalent to an equal sign. Okay. So, equal sign, yung is, then 3. So, yung mathematical sentence natin would be, 7 minus P is equal to 3. Okay, next. The sum of 5 and twice R is greater than 20. Okay. So, marami tayong involved na mga operations dito. We have sum, addition, twice, we have uh, multiplication. So, the sum of 5 and twice R. So, ito muna yung uunahin natin. The sum of 5 and twice R. So, yung sum daw ng 5... At yung twice ng R. So, that would be 5 plus 2 R or 2 times R. Okay? Then next, ano yung uh, symbol na gagamitin natin? Nakalagay dito is greater than. Okay? So, in mathematical symbol, ito yung symbol for greater than or is greater than. Okay? So, is greater than 20. So, copy natin yung 20. Ito na yung, ah, sorry. Ito na yung magiging mathematical symbol ng ating English sentence. So, we have 5 plus 2 R is greater than 20. Okay, next. 6 less than B is equal to 12. Okay. So, again, yung keyword natin na less than, ibig sabihin nito, yung number ilalagay natin dun sa huli na part. Okay. 6 less than B. Ito may yung uunahin natin. Yung 6, hindi natin isusulat sa unang part. Because, isusulat natin siya dun sa last na part. So, magiging B minus 6. Again, 6 less than B, ito yung mathematical symbol niya. Yung 6, ilalagay natin sa last na part. Okay, next. Is equal to. So, yung is equal to, of course, uh, in symbols, that would be an equal sign. And, the last word would be 12. Okay, then, 12. So, ito na yung answer natin for number 15. B minus 16 is equal to 12. Now, it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.